Hello fifth grade, Ms. Solari here with a quick demonstration on how to make an atomic model. What you'll need is your periodic table of elements reference sheet and your Bohr atom diagram. First, identify the element we will be modeling. In this case, lithium. Lithium has an atomic number of three and an atomic mass of about 6.941, which will round to seven. So first, we know the atomic number means the number of protons. So we place three protons in the nucleus. Secondly, to find out the number of neutrons, we have to subtract our atomic mass of seven from our atomic number of three. So seven minus three is four. So four neutrons also go in the nucleus of our atom. Now you might be saying, Miss Solari, there's nowhere on the periodic table that lets us know the amount of electrons. But the trick is that the same number of protons equals the same number of electrons. So we once again need three electrons. Now here, boys and girls, is where things can get a little tricky. We have to follow the orbital rules. The first shell in an atom can only hold up to two electrons. That's maximum capacity. The second shell holds a maximum of eight, and the third shell holds the maximum of 18. I'm sorry about the typo there. So what we're going to do is place our first two electrons in the first shell, because it holds a maximum of two, and our third electron goes in the second shell. And that, boys and girls, is how to make a model of an element's atomic structure. I know at practice we'll get really great at this as the unit goes on. I'll see you later this afternoon. Miss Solari signing off.